in this video, we will show how to configure and use FortiSwitch unit in FortiGate managed mode via FortiLink. Please note, for the sake of the video, we will be using FortiGate 100E. For the E models below 100, as well as for all D models, installation might differ. Before we get started, let's check features visibility. Please make sure that the switch controller is enabled. Let us start with FortiLink interface configuration. First step, we need to assign an interface member. If your edit FortiLink page looks like this, with only HA ports available in the list of entries, you need to open Interface tab and remove any particular port you wish to use from the default LAN interface members list. Once it's done, you will immediately be able to reassign the port to FortiLink interface, like so. Let's turn Auto Authorization on and click Apply. As we can see, the connection is still down and the number of FortiSwitch units is zero. This is because we didn't use dedicated FortiLink ports on FortiSwitch, which are port 8 and port 10 in this particular case. Let us now log into FortiSwitch GUI and enable FortiLink management mode, which will make every port on our FortiSwitch FortiLink dedicated port. Now our FortiGate should be able to establish a connection with our FortiSwitch. Let's get back to it to confirm. Please note, if the status of the FortiSwitch is offline, you might need to wait for a little bit and then refresh the page. Now our FortiSwitch is connected and fully accessible. If you wish, you can restart your unit, like so. You can as well remove your unit, connect to CLI, deauthorize, upgrade firmware, or execute factory reset. Let's see how each option works. Please note, after executing factory reset, your FortiSwitch unit will get back to the factory settings, meaning that it will be under local management mode and not FortiLink management mode, which will result in a lost connection between FortiSwitch and FortiGate. To fix it, you can either log into FortiSwitch GUI and enable FortiLink management mode, same way we did it in the beginning of this video, or you can connect to FortiGate using the same port to the default FortiLink port on your FortiSwitch, which is in our case port 8. In this situation, you won't even need to pre-configure FortiSwitch unit. All will be done automatically. And here we have our FortiSwitch fully accessible and ready to go. Now we can create a VLAN on our FortiSwitch. Please note, there are two different ways of creating a VLAN on FortiGate managed FortiSwitch unit. First, we can go to Network, Open Interface, Create New, and select Interface. Give the name, select FortiLink as interface, and give it a unique ID. Assign an IP and check pink checkbox. It is usually recommended to turn DHCP and device detection on. And apply. Here's our FortiSwitch dedicated VLAN interface. However, we can do exactly the same from the switch control panel. Go to Wi-Fi and Switch Controller and open FortiSwitch VLAN. From here, we can create a new FortiLink VLAN interface. As you can see, we have both new VLAN interfaces listed in FortiSwitch VLAN as well as in interfaces. Next, let's assign specific ports to the new VLANs. Please note, you can assign multiple ports as well as individual, like so.
If needed, we can get an interface info by hovering mouse over a VLAN's name. If you wish to see your FortiSwitch unit in a topology, you can do so by going to Security Fabric and clicking on Physical Topology. You can see a corresponding information by hovering mouse over, as well as list of executable options by right-click. This concludes our Managing FortiSwitch from FortiGate feature overview. Thank you for watching, and for more technical videos, please visit video.fortinet.com.